Hello and welcome back to my channel. No, you are not seeing double. I actually have two Nihon boxes this month. The reason for that is the very first box that I was supposed to get has finally arrived. Hooray! Now, there's a little bit of a funny story here. I actually went to go pick up my boxes from the UPS store had gotten all of my boxes, had gotten to the door just to see the U.S. Postal Service pull up. I got out to my car, got all the boxes into my trunk, turned around, saw him walking in, and saw basically this sticking out of the box that he was carrying. And I nearly walked right back into the UPS store. I nearly walked right back in just to go ahead and say, hey, that's my box. But I didn't do that. I let them go ahead and process all the packages, all of the mail. I got my notification that this hitter was in and went and picked it up. So, yeah, this box, this box has seen better days. There is a bit of damage. Uh, right here there is a hole. And right here it's a little bit crushed. But, I am not blaming Nihon for that. This box was actually shipped out via ship versus airmail. So, that could be why it is a bit banged up. So, yeah. But anyway, Nihon Box is $34.99. I've been getting it for a couple of months. And actually, with this box coming, along with this one, this makes up my three-month subscription. Now, I normally do not sign up for a three-month subscription right off the bat, but I did sign up for a three-month subscription for this one due to the fact that you got an additional gift when you signed up. So, I went for it. So, let's go ahead and dig right into this box, see what would have been our very first box, and see what that great prize is. So, yeah, it was, it was one of those surreal moments at the UPS store. It was a, do I stand here and wait, or do I just go home and wait, because it was really hot out, so. And I, they were pretty busy, and I didn't want to force them to go through the boxes right away. If they wouldn't have gone through the boxes as quickly as they did, I would have been willing to wait until tomorrow. So, let's go ahead and see what's locked inside of here. Okay. The first thing up, of course, is the wrapping on the top. I am going to keep this because I do actually like it. And it looks like we, ha it says Sakura Fever, or Sakura Fever. And it does have cutouts of Magical Girls on here. So I recognize one as Cardcaptor Sakura. I don't recognize the other ones. So this is really cute. Okay. So this was the April 2020 box. So I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to look at it. But I will use it to go through this stuff if I need to. Okay. First up, it is a one-piece folder, mm -hmm. and it is a clear file, one of those clear file folders. 
So I'm not the biggest fan of One Piece, so I will probably find a friend to gift this off to. Next up in here is a set of postcards. Ooh. Let's see what these are. Okay. Come on, open up. I can see the first image, but I want to see the... Okay, it's only one postcard. Okay. I thought there was two. Okay, I am... Okay, it's only one postcard, but I don't mind that. I think I put that on wrong. Yes, I did. Okay. Let's try this again, again, shall we? There we go. Okay, so this one is... of cherry blossoms. Let me actually move my light back a little bit. There we go. So I can get a little bit closer with it. <laughs> that is quite cute. You can see that I think that's supposed to be Mount Fuji Mountain back in there. This is quite nice. Now you could have gotten one of two designs. I will go ahead and show you guys what that other design is a little bit later. Okay. Huh. I think this is tea. Sakura Rio Chuka to go with your fairy tale Nuari and your tea box. Here is a Sakura flavored green tea. Okay. Sweet. I like that. Okay. And so we're probably going to get tea box in here someplace. I think I just found it. And here is a card cap Der Sakura Marinage uh, Sakura. The famous card hunter is part of the special cherry blossom box with this pretty exclusive spoon. The name Marinage comes into play in from a play on words between Renge the famous porcelain spoons found in some ramen restaurants. Okay. Let me go ahead and tilt that. So there's not as much of a glare. There she is on the spoon. And so it says card capture Sakura at the top. This is really neat. I like this. That will go well with the tea. And up next and get it out is the Sakura tea box that is very lovely I'm trying to light myself and not there we go so for now it's too dark on the items here we go Sorry, I'm working with a new camera. I'm trying to figure out lighting set up here. I am filming in my secondary location. Okay, so I wonder if this is the mug. Aha, it is. I found it. So this is a fairy tale. Yonmiko, Yomio, fairy tale fans, this month we are happy to include in your box some awesome ex and exclusive fairy tale Yomi. This is a traditional made in Japan teacup. So if you notice, there is no handle. You are supposed to hold it like this. 
when drinking out of it. So this is rather neat. I don't have any tea. I don't have any mugs like this. I'll put that to the side. Okay. I guess the free the free item is probably in the third box mm -hmm. after the three months. Because the last item, it is a Sakura Miku figure. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what this looks like. I don't have many anime figures aside from Sailor Moon mm -hmm. and a couple from my brain just went dead the otaku box so I'm sure this will go quite well Ooh. Okay, that is the base. It is Sakura theme. Okay, let me get this out of the Oh, it would help if I cut the tape. Hi. Okay. There we go. She is free. She is free. Okay, so this is one that you have to put together. Okay, and here is the actual figure without the hair. There is her face. And I love the fact that the way it's sculpted, the way her sleeves are, it gives it movement. I'm going to take out one of her pigtails. And this is the pigtail. It has sakura blossoms. It has a couple of cherries in it. And even the hair has great movement. Now I'm not going to put the hair on because I will be putting this right back into the box. In fact, let me do that. Right now. So, yeah, once I get some place to actually put up this figure, I will definitely put it together and I will go ahead and show what she looks like with her hair in. That is really neat. And it's quite a big figure for this having been the very first box. So I was not expecting that. Okay. Sorry, honey, I need to put you back in. I hopefully will get that out and displayed as soon as I possibly can. Okay. back in. Okay, and here is the other postcard that I could have gotten. It looks like a feudal 
yeah, it does look like feudal Japan. So that is quite cute. Okay. This was a pretty good box for it being the very first box I would have been getting. Now, this, again, was delayed due to COVID and Japan having to stop all packages from leaving the country via airmail. So I did not even get a tracking number for this, and normally you do get a tracking number. Oh, go ahead and put this right back in. That would have been great to have gotten when I first, when this box was first shipped. Okay, Let me put that off to the side. Let's open up, I believe this one is July's box. This, no, this may be, no, this is June's box. Sorry about that. This one is June. So, yeah, with this one coming in, that means I will be getting a lot of my older boxes. So, I will attempt to group those together with the newer boxes. So look out for those. So that was the first of the ones that I've been waiting on. I'm also waiting on my first box of the capsules from this company. The capsule box. So I know I forgot to put something in that figure. That's okay. Okay, let's go for the next month box. This one is June 2020. Okay, and... Okay, I'm going to try to keep it from... Tanoshi time? I have no clue what the theme is. It just says Tanoshi time. I have no clue. <laughs> okay. And here is the booklet for this month. Let's go ahead and open that up. I again will not look down at it. And let's go for the first item. The first item is a pair of Usagi chopsticks. These pretty Usagi chopsticks will make the perfect combo when you put them along with your new tray. Okay, this goes with something else. Now, Usagi does not necessarily mean that this is Sailor Moon. Usagi is the Japanese word for rabbit. So, and that's where Usagi Tsukino got her name because she does, she was the princess of the moon and there's, there's the uh, tale of the rabbit on the moon who beats out Mochi. Okay, I'm trying to be gentle with this so that I can attempt to wrap this back up again. Okay, that's one side. Let's go ahead and get the other side. There we go. And I have more tape. <laughs> Dang it. And I want to be careful because I don't know if this is wood or plastic and I don't want to ruin I think this is the tray.
so let's go ahead and <gasps> oh wow this is gorgeous yes it is plastic but oh my god look at those little rabbits wow this is this is beautiful it is plastic but it does have a wood grain finish to it and the rabbits it feels like it's gold leaf it may be gold leaf it may be paint to give a cool Japanese touch to your meal here is a nice tray with a usagi rabbit design you can put it on your table with small condiments soy sauce salt etc or drop your favorite treats on it during your tea or coffee break so this actually goes with the item that we got in the April box. So, and I do like that. So this will definitely be something once I get my own apartment. This puppy will be coming out and will be on full display. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is really neat. Okay. Okay, this looks like it is some Dragon Ball Z candy. I want to say it's chocolate, mm -hmm. but I don't have any information on the in the booklet. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this is chocolate. Mm -hmm. I always love chocolate. Okay. And next up it is Netsuki Kiriko's basketball chain. Yes it is. It looks like this with this strap series, the heroes of Cookie Gami's Basketball, enjoy some Tanoshi time in the streets of Tokyo and Yakamura. Each character features a popular symbol of the city, Sky Tree, Rainbow Bridge, and Kamenero for Tokyo. Chewy Sailor, Kung Fu, and Gold Gig for Yakamori. Okay, cute. I don't quite know which one I got, but these are quite cute. Even though I've never seen that series, I will go ahead and keep that. And I think this is another free freebie. It is, yes it is, loyalty bonus. Okay, and it is a ballpoint pen. It is a Kirby ballpoint. Let me take this off. This is just a sticker to say, hey, this is your free item. So it is a Kirby pen. I quite like it. I do like pens. And it does have a little, the little star wand on there. That is quite cute. I'm actually going to take this out. I'm actually going to actually take that and the chocolate out. This is going right into my purse. Okay, let me make it so that the sticky side is gone. Okay, next up is City Hunter Lunchbox, made in Japan. So I do have quite a few of these lunchboxes, but I don't mind it. This stuff will make for great food storage. It's a fact City Hunter products are rare to find even in Japan. It is with great pleasure that we managed to include this pretty official lunchbox and it's made in Japan. The design features Ryo and Kyoi 
and the blue and red colors like the ones from Rio's clothes. This lunch bag, this lunch box will surely put a smile on your face during your next meal break. Okay, cool. I've never heard of this anime. I may have to look into it. Okay. Up next is a plushie. I'm actually going to keep it in the, in the plastic. And this is a fairy tale, not not Sue plush. So I believe that is the name of the character. And I've never seen fa fairy tale. It is on my to watch list. But I just love these types of plushies. They're so detailed. These are, now this I know is from Japan, but this remind, this one reminds me of Great Earth. That might not be the name of it. Or Eastern something. But it is the only plushie that I will collect because they are so detailed even though it is made with fabric and felt. So, actually I'm going to try and wiggle my finger in here. Oh yeah, it is the same texture. So this will blend in quite nicely with my Sailor Moon plushes. And the last item in here, it is a Swing Solar Kirby figure. And I could have gotten one of two. I actually like this one. This one is quite cute. He is sitting on top of a star on top of a cloud. This is quite cute. And what these do is when it is sunny out, there is a little solar panel on here. It absorbs the energy and it makes it rock back and forth. As you can see, I can make it rock back and forth on its own, on my own, but it will rock back and forth all by itself if there is solar energy. Okay, see? I'm not moving it. This is just the light that is causing this. I'm going to actually sit. Or maybe it was me. Okay. So it was me. But yeah, this definitely will be something really cute to have out. And it's quite funny because I don't like sunlight. So that will be very interesting to have when I don't like the sun very much. How am I going to power that thing? I don't know. Okay. Okay, this was like that. Okay, that was like that. Okay. There we go. And we're going to put the spoiler cover on. There. And there. So that was the April and June Nihon boxes. Again, I do like this company. I do like everything that you get. I think gauging everything in my mind, you do get your money's worth at $34.99 plus shipping. All of that stuff, if I would have bought it separately, could have easily been over $100 with tax. So, yeah. 
a very good value on both boxes. So, yeah, I'm going to keep on getting it. I've already been renewed f for the next three months. I may increase it to six months. You do get one free loyalty gift if you do three months. And if you do six months, you do get two. So I may increase it to six months to see what two items are. So, yeah. Still a great box. And until next time, wash your hands, wear a mask when you're out, and keep right on reading. Bye-bye.